giant camera that uh, I, I think one article described it as like a a naval uh, you know giant cannon sort of a weapon like it's this big metal box looking thing almost looks like a camera you'd see at like a sporting event you know the guy rides on and points around but uh, so this does what the stills camera did and a lot more so the camera itself like they give you all these different specs with megapixels and everything but kind of what what gives it its special sauce is it has uh, what are called micro lenses that read all the angles of light that the camera is recording in the image in front of it so it's kind of like the opposite of what you might do with a computer 3d rendering program where you could literally create the lights and then it uses you know math and whatnot to uh, figure out what that light would look like according to what you input it's more or less reading that scene and reading the incident angles of the light and uh, you know, it's kind of like what ray tracing does in 3D uh, lighting for, you know, 3D animation and all that. Only it's reading that information and kind of feeding that into uh, the camera digitally and it records a massive amount of in information. And then when you bring that into software, not only can you refocus the camera, you can pretend like you were shooting at a whole different aperture. Uh, you can, without the use of a green screen, you can actually use the depth information that it recorded to completely remove a subject from the background. You can Jeez. turn the image into a 3D image. Uh, you can change the frame rate. You can do all of these, and I'm just remembering the things that I read in there and watched from the video because some of it was over my head, but... Um, Essentially, they're recording so much information about the scene that you can virtually manipulate a lot of those factors that normally are locked in, such as frame rate, which uh, frame rate has everything to do with how motion is represented. It's how slow-mo is pulled off. Uh, and you can kind of simulate that in post, and you can do it to whatever degree you want to. Um, so for cinematography in general, for somebody you know like myself that's, I you know, had years of training and looking at cameras and figuring out, you know, how do I get the the best image possible and all that. They're saying that the placement and movement of the camera still needs to be dictated at the time you record. Uh, and the lighting needs to be set the way it's going to be set when you record. But some of the things I mentioned, like uh, frame rate, being able to uh, break down the composite, you know, and have a different background or whatever, um, you know, those sorts of things, changing the focus... Uh, that can all be done based off of that map.